Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make yourself a custom wallpaper. This video will be split in two. The first half, customizing all your items. And the second one, making the actual wallpaper. If you don't want to download it and you want to make one from scratch, I will show you how to do that today. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is download these four apps. Two of them you can get off the Microsoft Store and the other two you can get from the internet. Okay, so for the first two, you want to go on the Microsoft Store and you want to search up a lively wallpaper. Now this is the one you're going to want, um, I already have it, but you basically just get it and then have it downloaded, ready to open it up. Okay, so the second app you want to download is Translucent Taskbar. This is what it's going to look like. You want to go and click Get, and once it's ready, you can move on to the next stage. These other two, you're going to have to download from the internet. Okay, so the first one you want to download is called Rain Meter. Simply search this up on the search place and click the first option, and then you just want to download. That's it. Click save and I already have it so you just go and ahead and download that. Now once you have downloaded it, you'll have it in a in a compressed folder like this one. You want to extract it so that it's here. And then you're gonna open it and get this one. So if I full screen you see it's application. This one. Wanna double click it. And then you'll go through a series of steps that shows you how to download it. And then you're gonna run into this little thing that's that's actually the app. That's all it is. What it does, I already had it set up here. You go to advanced and then you copy the settings 3, 3, minus 100, minus 100 and all these ticks. It makes it so you can hide this one but it looks ugly so basically to make it look better you have the translucent background that you downloaded earlier on. You just double click it and automatically it'll make it translucent. You might have a situation like this where you have all of your apps showing in the home screen. You don't want this to happen so basically you right click on the home screen, click view. This little button show desktop items, you want to click that and then it hides them. Having done all of this, your home screen should be looking pretty clean. Now this third step, I'm not going to go into very much detail since I don't know much about it, but it's called Rain Meter. So as you can see, I here already have it set up. A similar process to how you downloaded this one. Once you've downloaded Rain Meter, you want to open it up, click next, install, but I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. And after having set all of that up, you should end up with an app that looks like this. There might be other things on screen. All you have to do is right click and then unload skin. That includes all the tutorial widgets. The main point of this video is actually to show you how to make the custom background, animated background, which I'm going to go into now. Now having opened Lively Wallpaper, you'll see a bunch of custom wallpapers here you can get. Now this one here, I made myself, which includes a micro song with some nice fire crackling in the background. You can also download some that look pretty cool like this one but I'm going to be showing you how to actually make the one I did. So if you want to go into making something like this, basically the principles of what I did, I got a shader pack. You can get a texture pack if you want. I didn't for this specific one. You can get some mods that make your character look cool. For example, the sits mod, a custom weapons mod, or some other cool mods. Now I'm going to make a brand new one and show you guys how I actually did it. So basically the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. Now I'm using Modrinth launcher for this one. You can use any one you want, but I prefer Modrinth as it's pretty easy to make new scenes and add a bunch of mods to them. The first thing you want to do is download all the mods you want to do. If you're not familiar with downloading mods or if you're not very good at that, the first thing you need to do is download Fabric and Fabric API as that is what we're going to be using the most. So here you can simply search it up on Google. Click the first website that appears and click versions and choose the version you want to download. The second one is Fabric itself. You simply click download for Windows and go through the same steps as you did to download the other things. Now I'm assuming you already have Fabric installed so I'm not going to go into detail on how to actually download it. I'm going to give you a quick view on the mods I actually use for this wallpaper. Now I'm going to leave a link to all these in my Discord server and on the description if I can actually leave it. If I can't, I'll leave a link to the actual Discord. Just join up, hit me up, and I will give you all the mods you need. The first one is sit. Basically, it just makes you sit on any block, as you saw in the wallpaper. The second one is Medieval Weapons. This one gives you a bunch of vanilla-like looking weapons, which are pretty cool and actually have their own damage effects. The third one is Distant Horizons, as you will need this one if you want to have a wallpaper that has a large render distance. The last one is YDM's Weapon Master, which basically allows you to put weapons on your character. And of course, last but not least, is Replay Mod. You can use these to get the best shots, trust me. Now as for the shaders, you basically have infinite options. These here are all the ones I am currently using. I simply switch through the shaders until I find one that looks the best. Now of course, feel free to add any other mods you like. This is all about your creativity and making a wallpaper that suits your computer the best. Now that we are actually in the game, the first thing you want to do 
do is open up a brand new world and find a place that you like the most. This process may take a little while. Now that I've chosen a good spot and rendered a few chunks, I can move on to actually recording the replay shot. Basically what I want to do, as you can see here, I have the sunset over there and choose the correct shaders that I want to use. To be completely honest, I probably won't actually change the shaders. I'm just going to keep this one right here as it looks the absolute best with snow. As you see like the reflection there. First over there, this actually looks epic. I mean, to be honest, that looks cold, can't lie. Now I'm just going to actually record the replay shot. Yeah, that should be long enough. I just stop recording now and go ahead and check out what my thing looks like. Guys, my PC is not liking this. Listen, listen to this. Now, once you're in the actual editor, what you want to do is basically put the FOV all the way to 30 because actually that makes a very big difference when recording. Uh, you want to set up your shot somewhere and like just slowly move across. Now, once you actually have the replay shot ready, you want to open up your shaders and make sure it actually looks all right with the shaders and everything. For example, if we click play from the start, yeah, there's a little glitch at the start, but that's fine because we're going to be editing it later. Now we actually render this, which is going to take very long time, 100% because um, it's a three minute video with shaders and 32 renders chunks of distance. What did I just say? All right, so here's a few things you want to do before actually starting editing the video. The first one is choose song or ambient sound or both that you want to use in the video and come to a website it really doesn't matter which one you use basically all you have to do is just type in youtube youtube to mp3 or mp4 download and just choose a website that you like the best so basically you just put it in here convert it and then download it to a place you want to download it to Okay, so once you've imported these videos or sounds into your editor, but, and by the way, if you don't know how to edit, just let me know in the comments. I might or might not make a video on editing, but basically I'm using DaVinci Resolve right now. So just put in all the sounds and videos you want to use and cut like the first bit, because usually in replay mod, this bit is glitched out to like right there. And then simply make the video, don't cut it early, just change the speed so that, um, it matches the actual song. Also bear in mind when you're actually using something, when you're actually on an app, the background will pause and the song will not be playing. So that's a good thing in case you're listening to other things. Also, you can mute it if you want to, or just have it without song to begin with. It looks pretty good. So now you're going to want to actually render the video. It's going to take a while because yes, it's a big video, but yeah. I'm being called by Psy15. What does this guy want? I'm recording a, I'm recording a video. Are you? Yeah. What video? You'll see. Anyways, getting that distraction out the way. <laughs> so once it's done rendering, head over to Lively Wallpaper. Get um your video ready. This is the one I'm going to be using. You click the plus icon, drag and drop the file here. I'm going to name it um, The Boss Has No Enemies. Click OK. Now here you have the new wallpaper. And then there you go. That is the finished result. That actually looks epic i can't lie yeah thank you guys for actually watching this video and basically that is all this video is going to be about there's a movie coming up soon make sure to tune in for that subscribe like and go creative make your own wallpaper make it look absolutely epic i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>